approximately 6,000 years ago. Was it an explosion? Did we come from a glob of goo? Ugh. Ugh. I don't think so. It's been said that we are the result of an explosion. Is this true? Is this scientific? Or is it just based on a belief? Levi! Come here. I need to be near you. All right, let's go over some things. One popular thing to do in American politics is to note that the summers in the United States over the past few years have been very warm. As a result, global warming must be real. What's wrong with this reasoning? It's only gone up 0.6 mm. degrees. Yeah, it's not really a big problem, is it? No. I don't think that it's going to hurt us. It's, it's a huge political issue, global warming is, and that's why it's really important for you to understand. Is it. evolution too? Um, not really. Uh, Creation uh, much, Um, it's becoming one now. What if you had to go to a school where the teacher said creationism is stupid, I, and you're stupid if you believe in it? I think they should win. Well, I, or I, what I, if you had to go to a school where your teacher said evolution is stupid, and you're stupid if you believe in I it? I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> you wouldn't mind it. If you look at creationism, oh. you realize it's the only possible answer to all the questions. That's exactly what Dad said. Mm -hmm. It's so. the only possible answer to all the questions. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Did you get to the part on here where it says that science doesn't prove anything? <laughs> and it's really interesting when you look at it that way. It is. It is. All right. All right. I think personally that Galileo made the right choice by giving up science for grace. God didn't say have children and give my kids to someone else for eight hours a day. And if I can homeschool them as well as the school can public school them, why would I send them somewhere else for eight hours a day? Our nation was founded on Judeo-Christian values. We know when things started changing. You know, prayer got taken out of school, and um, the schools start falling apart. And now the rest of us are going, wait a minute, where is my country? Our firm belief is there are two kinds of people in the world, people who love Jesus and people who don't. And I want my kids to grow up knowing, you know what, it's, it's a good thing to be a Christian. I get credit. Yeah, Matthew Spalding, our guest. Tomorrow, Glenn Thomas gives us a first-hand perspective from Christian Marines involved in Operation Iraqi Freedom in his book, God Saw Them Through. So tomorrow ought to be very interesting. We'll see you back here then. We'll be playing our twist.